Welcome. In this little short video, we're going to be looking at the Kruskal Wallace test. This particular version of the Kruskal Wallace test has been implemented within an Excel spreadsheet. In other words, all the programming necessary to run this test has already been done for you. All you need to do is enter the data and then read out the results in the form of the adjusted H value. Before you can use this Excel spreadsheet to analyze your data, you need to remove the uh, sample data that's already in here. To do that, just go to where the data begins here in the upper left-hand corner, hold down the left key, at least that's what you would do for using a PC, then delete the data. You also need to delete the group names. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and enter your own data. I've gone ahead and entered some data. This particular data comes from a study that was done a number of years ago, in which we're looking at the number of worms at three different sites. Let me go ahead and finish entering the data. There we go, and we're done. All we need now is to record the value of the adjusted H and also the p-value. These need to be reported in your lab report. In this case, we can see that the p-value is very, very small, 0 0.006, which basically means that it is not very likely that these three sites have exactly the same number of worms. In other words, that the worm populations are the same at all three sites. That's very, very improbable. Hence, we can conclude that the three different worm populations at these three different sites are, in fact, statistically significantly different. Good luck with doing this Kruskal-Wallis test. Like I say, it's a very simple test, and you'll be doing it over and over and over again in this lab. Bye-bye.